Hey, what's up guys? This is Free on the Frozen. I want to make a quick video on how to use multi-timbral, multi-output plugins. Uh, I have here an uh, FL Studio, and uh, we're going to go ahead and use the East-West Symphonic Orchestra. Uh, we're going to use one instance. This whole video is for you to be able to use one instance. So you can use as many as you want, obviously, but with one, you can have a different type of uh, instruments. And this is also a tutorial for you to be able to put uh, different effects on each of these separately. Okay, so first, what we want to go ahead and do is go to the Fruity Wrapper settings. We go to processing. Since we're starting off brand new, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on channel one. And uh, when I auto map it, uh, these dashes will turn into uh, numbers uh, following the one. So when I auto map it, it changes to two through eight. And that's good because that's how we're starting. Um, it depends on the situation, obviously, but since we're starting, this works out perfectly. So when we go back to the, um, the actual interface, uh, let's put a f instrument. In this case, it's going to be a cello. And when we trigger the key, you will see that in the channel one input of the FL mixer, you'll see it actually come up in the um, in the meter. And that's good. That's what we want. Um, if we go to a second instrument and we put a French horn, just random. We put a pr French horn. We're like, yeah, we already set it up. You know, I put, you know, we auto mapped it and everything should be good. But you will notice that when I trigger the key, you will still see it on insert one. Now, we don't want to have that. We want to have it separately. That way we can apply effects on that specific instrument only. Uh, and they could be separated. So the way to do that, you go here. There's like a little fork or little little fork or whatever, a little rake. It looks like a rake little symbol. Anyways, you click on it, and um, you see these numbers here. Now this is 1, 2, it goes uh, 1 through 16. All right? So you're like, what, the f what, what, is, what does that mean? Well, when you go back to the settings, you notice that these uh, channel 1 through 8 has numbers on it. it says 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the way to 16 so channel 1 actually goes through 1 and 2 channel 2 goes through 3 and 4 channel 3 goes through 5 and 6 and so on and so forth so let's go back channel uh, instrument 2 I uh, wanted to be going on output 2 and output 2 rem remember went to uh, went through uh, 3 and 4 so now that I set it up here when I trigger the key the output 2 will go into output uh, input 2 of the FL mixer which is what I want here alright let's try it one more time uh, let's put a harp on channel on, on the instrument 3 channel and press yes you notice that autom anytime you put a new instrument you're gonna get this to 1 and 2 that's not what we want and this is not what I'm trying to show you so what it uh, remember channel 3 go through it went through 5 and 6 so let's go through 5 and 6 now when we press the key it'll go on input 3 of the FL mixer this um, with this you can go ahead and use uh, memory again like I said uh, you can use uh, you don't use up as much memory that because you're not using multiple plugins uh, instances of the plugin um, and this also helps you put different effects say uh, on each of the plug uh, each of the instruments I'm sorry so say for instance if I want the uh, the cello to have an a, a phaser for whatever reason I go into channel one and I go to the phaser which is uh, somewhere here there you go and I'm gonna put the uh, so for for the sake of being able to hear it let me just put it a little bit louder um, so when I click uh, select channel one the instrument one and I'll press it you'll hear the the phaser effect alright and uh, channel two can get that same thing you know whatever instrument uh, or whatever 
effect you want. Um, same thing goes to uh, instrument three or input three here. So um, say if I wanted a delay on the harp. No, where's your delay? Delay is right here. So the this is a delay control. Then uh, whenever I strike a key, trigger a key, it'll be having a delay. If you have any questions, you could definitely hit me, uh, write a comment down below. You can like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel. There will be more uh, tutorials of uh, this, uh, this, these kind of things in the future. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitter at Free on the Frozen. Um, you have a good day.